SBN, the Small Business Network, is a division of Privatel Incorporated and does not sell any of the instruments, goods, or services seen here, nor is it a portal to investment opportunities. Please consult with your financial and legal professionals before making any investment. This concept has been registered with the Writers Guild of America. Right now on the Small Business Network. A look at a crowdfunding project seeking breakthroughs and alternatives to help the environment for generations to come. MedEx Incorporated is an innovator and leader in developing all natural and alternative solutions to the outdated poisonous chemicals and harmful pharmaceutical products. We're talking about the kinds of chemicals often used in pest control and pain management. According to its crowdfunding pitch, MedEx incorporates best-in-class science and technology for manufacturing and service capabilities across pest control, pain management, aromatherapy, and essential oil product development. MedEx considers itself a leader in green technology manufacturing. It is not only in business to benefit shareholders and partners, but to also help consumers and communities find solid solutions to achieve and live a healthy lifestyle without the concern of personal and environmental impact. Minimum investment in the company's equity crowdfunding campaign is $420. Let's have a look at the pitch video for more details about MedEx Incorporated. Making a difference is not always about the monumental moments. It's about the everyday moments. Three little things that truly affect our lives. Health, wellness, and peace of mind. These are what impact us all. This is our company's focus. We are MedEx Incorporated. We strive to impact our customers, employees, community, and the environment all in a positive manner. It's a really important part of our culture, and as long as we continue to do this, we will always be successful. Our motto is innovating the everyday. Our goal is to produce safe, effective, and affordable products that address the everyday challenges we all face. It's the simple things that make our lives easier and safer. These are the things we focus on, these are the kinds of products we have built this company on. Every day, consumers use our products to naturally relieve back pain, migraine headaches, and help our children heal. Our chemical-free insecticides keep our kids and pets safe from insects and pests like bedbugs and snakes. Our aromatherapy shower sprays help many stay relaxed and refreshed, and our online publication educates the masses so individuals can stay informed, get involved, and make a difference. Our products are patented and developed by medical doctors and bioengineers, as well as university tested to prove their effectiveness. Our strong manufacturing and distribution partnerships allows us to develop products across several categories. As our company grows, so does our catalog of products and services. We've made it easy for our customers to find our products by building strong marketing alliances and lasting relationships with major retailers in the grocery, drug, healthy living, and club store sectors. The positive feedback from our customers keeps us constantly motivated, and we are inspired daily by providing inventors and business owners the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity of seeing their products go from concept or idea to the retail store shelves. Our future is bright. Come. Join us and be a part of our mission and continued growth of becoming a world-class leader in the green products industry. MedEx is further developing and expanding its digital media platform, the Marijuana Times. The company is also developing cannabis-related products in a legal and eco-friendly fashion throughout this year and into the future. Could it be the next pick in your investment portfolio? Maybe so, with a minimum investment at around $400. Questions about crowdfunding or interested in franchising? The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We'll be back in a minute with more news from the world of small business startups right here on SBN, the Small Business Network.
Franchise company information on the Small Business Network is not intended as an offer to sell or the solicitation of an offer to buy a franchise. It is for information purposes only. In the United States, franchises can only be offered by means of a franchise disclosure document. Other state laws may also apply. For more information, write to us here, info at connectsbn.com. Holy cowabunga, have you ever surfed the earth? We're talking about the Golf Board, a 506C offering available for your investment. Its makers, the entrepreneurs and designers at Soul Boards, have come up with a vehicle that helps liven up your golf game with some of the same moves you may have learned with surfboards and skateboards. They claim to be reinventing personal mobility. Seems like they're reinvigorating it too. Here's a bit of the pitch video for the Golf Board, open to accredited investors only with minimum investment starting at $2,500. Golfboard has quickly become one of the most celebrated and disruptive products in the game today. Invented by big wave surfer Laird Hamilton and fitness industry icon Don Wildman. When I'm out on the course now, I feel like in the summertime I'm still snowboarding. Golfboard has an unparalleled opportunity to reshape and grow the game of golf by allowing players to surf the earth. Designed and distributed by Soul Boards Inc. and made in the USA, there are already more than 200 golf boarding courses worldwide. Golf Board has been greatly endorsed by key industry influencers, winning the coveted PGA's Best New Product Award, as well as the Golf Digest Best Club Transport Award. A media darling, Golf Board has benefited exclusively from national media coverage, including the Golf Channel, Wall Street Journal, CBS This Morning, Fox Business News, CNBC, and CNN's Living Golf, just to name a few. As a result, Golf Board viral videos have generated over 35 million views, creating immediate worldwide awareness and demand. Golf Board has energized the game by attracting a whole new audience of young millennials being strongly embraced by both the X generation and baby boomers. Increasing pace of play, boosting rounds played, and providing valuable new revenue streams for golf course operators. With more than 15,000 U.S. golf courses and 30,000 courses worldwide, Golf Board is uniquely positioned for massive growth. However, the company's growth is not limited to just Golf Board. With plans to leverage our proprietary technology to expand into high potential new markets such as resorts, industrial, and all terrain applications. With the path already paved, our journey has just begun. So now is the time to join the Golf Board Revolution. Golf Board, surf the earth. As the campaign offering states, with nearly 3,000 golf boards used daily on over 275 golf courses in 11 countries, the contagious attraction of surfing the earth from shot to shot has been demonstrated worldwide. Soul Boards Incorporated is now seeking funding to leverage its unique proprietary technology to expand into the $15 billion adjacent electric scooter marketplace. It looks like a lot of fun and a new way to approach a sport enjoyed by so many. If this 506C crowdfund offering has sparked your investment interest, let us know. Questions about crowdfunding or interested in franchising? The Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. There's more small business news ahead. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. While we're on the topic of transportation, for fun and for business, do you know what I mean when I say last mile technology? Well, don't let it put you off of this next crowdfunding campaign. What it means is how material gets from point A to point B down to the last mile. That's what the crowdfunders behind City Freighter want you to consider, weighing your options to buy in starting at $250 for a minimum investment. 
What's unique about the City Freighter, a zero emission, 100% electric motor vehicle, is the way it is positioned to lead in the last mile delivery process. As the campaign documents say, the transportation and logistics industry faces many changes. By 2030, 70% of all people will live in bigger cities, and this growth will have an impact on urban logistics. The demand for sustainable, compact, pollution-free commercial vehicles is steadily growing. According to the ID TechX report, last mile electric vehicles between 2018 and 2028, it is estimated that the last mile EV market will reach over $792 billion by 2028. Whew, that's a lot to take into consideration. Let's take a look at the pitch video and see what's to consider with a minimum investment of $250. We live in a beautiful world. Protecting the environment should be priority to save our future. More people will move into the big cities. E-commerce is exploding. Last mile logistics is growing fast and faces multiple challenges. Using more vehicles with combustion engines will only increase the pollution within our cities. It's time for a change. City Freighter develops smart electric trucks and innovative logistic concepts for the last mile to meet the future needs of urban commercial logistics. Simply replacing fossil fuel operated motors with electric motors does not entirely solve the problem. Our concept offers a comprehensive solution. The modular design is customizable and our business model utilizes a realistic, fast go-to-market approach with the flexibility to scale up production quickly. Become a part of this exciting journey and invest into City Freighter. I think I get it, how critical it may be one day to make delivery efficient down to the last mile. If this offer strikes your fancy, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. Remember, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including crowdfunding and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We're right back with more small business news ahead. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. One last ride for your crowdfunding consideration today. It really takes hold of a tradition and totally updates it with style and practicality. We're talking mod vans, customized wheels with multiple functions, definitely not your grandpa's idea of a custom van. In its offering, they say the mod van's vision is to win the hearts of adventurers and soccer moms alike. They want people to choose a mod van's multi-purpose camper van as their next minivan, pickup truck, SUV or RV. They want their customers to be inspired to explore the great outdoors and get to work in comfort and safety in modern, modular and affordable camper vans. Minimum investment in mod vans is $101.50. So let's see what gets your investment motor running as we take a look at the mod vans pitch video. Director of Operations and Co-Founder of ModVans. And I'm PJ Teza, Co-Founder and CEO of ModVans. ModVans is the only company selling a modular camper van that functions as an RV, a family van, and a work truck all in one. Since our launch last year, we have over two and a half million dollars in sales with virtually no money spent on advertising. ModVans is RVIA certified and listed in J.D. Power's Native Guides. This gives our customers access to RV financing and extended warranties. We started customer deliveries in June and became cash flow positive in July. We love the outdoors, but camping is complicated. Packing a gear takes forever. The gear takes a lot of space, and keeping food fresh is a pain. I hate sleeping on the ground and having to get out of the tent in the middle of the night. Plus, we like to take our dogs, and we never felt comfortable leaving them in the tent or in the car. So we got an RV. It had all the comforts of home, but it was hard to drive. It was a gas guzzler, and we had to pay to store it. Solo trips in the RV were overkill. 
We wanted something smaller and nimbler, but we couldn't find it, so we decided to build it. Our friends saw it and were impressed and said, you should start a business selling camper vans. Our lean startup MVP was a website and pre-orders for five CV1s. After 60 days, we pre-sold 10 CV1s with a few dollars spent on Craigslist ads. We have four full-time employees, great advisors, and paying customers that are willing to recommend us to family and friends. We're looking for investors to help us scale our existing production models to reach $10 million in sales within the next 12 months. Mod Bands is on the verge of explosive growth. Class B RVs are the fastest growing segment of the RV market. Our sales are limited only by our production capacity. Our friends, family, and customers want to invest in us but to maximize our momentum, we need the power of the crowd. We want to build our modern modular camper vans for everyone who wants one. Invest now and invest big. Help us make that happen. Its makers claim the Mod Vans CV1 is the superhero of camper vans, hauling kids to and from soccer practice by day and road tripping by night. It's a cargo van for work during the week and a living space for play on weekends. It's an adventure van that doubles as a daily driver. The couple behind this Mod Vans movement came up with a practical, creative idea, did all their own heavy lifting to start this reinvention of the camper van. It is a big idea, and we salute them as they continue to raise funds to bring it to market. If this Title III regulation crowdfunding campaign has gotten you revved up for investment, the Small Business Network can help. We can connect you to legal and business investment advisors, including our legal expert, the crowdfunding attorney, Mark Roderick. And if you have a big idea, an invention, or an innovation you'd like to test out in the marketplace, let us know because, as we always remind you, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including product development, crowdfunding, and franchising. For more information, contact us here, info at connectsbn.com. We're back with more after this short break. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network. As we mentioned earlier, it's either a cautionary tale of small business gone over the top, or it's a success story beyond belief. Can you imagine the problem of a small business franchise doing so well that it can't expand anymore? Our North American franchising story begins in Western Canada in 1989, Vancouver, British Columbia. It soon opened its first permanent location in Victoria, BC, before heading east and trying its hands in Toronto, Ontario in 1998. And if you think its name sounds clunky now, imagine if it was still going by its startup name, Rubbish Boys Disposal Service. We're talking about 1-800-GOT-JUNK, the world's largest junk removal service actually incorporated under the initials of the original business, RBDS Incorporated. So it has been a little more than 20 years in business. The original Rubbish Boys all seem to have done quite well all still involved in the business, though maybe not through actual contact with the junk anymore. As the story goes, when they began to offer franchising, it just took off. I was intrigued by franchising because I'd always loved the McDonald's brand. The fact that here's someone, Ray Kroc, who could scale and cookie cutter this business across the planet. So I looked at my business, 1-800-GOT-JUNK, and said, how do I systematize this? I created over two years a system for everything we did. How do you price jobs? How do you talk to customers? How do you answer the phones? It looked and felt so much like a franchise that I had no choice but to choose franchising as a model. In major markets, in small markets, in every market in between, business has gotten so good, there isn't one franchise market that is readily on offer, but if it were, the total investment to open a 1-800-GOT-JUNK business in the U.S. ranges from 209000 to 242000 Here's a detailed breakdown of the range of investment costs. Initial franchise fee, $128,000. Initial marketing fee, $12,000. Computer hardware and software, $1,500 to $3,000. Miscellaneous opening costs, $5,000 to $15,000. Equipment, vehicle lease with dump box, lease or purchase, deposit up to $10,000. Real estate or rent, $1,200 to $5,000. Local marketing, for three months, $3,600. Insurance, $800 to $5,000. Training expenses, $1,500 to $3,000. 
Additional funds for six months, 52,000 to 72,000. Total range, as we said, 209,000 to 243,000. So why don't we go to the offer video and see how founder Brian Scudamore sought out a way to accommodate the problem of success. I'm Brian Scudamore. I'm the founder and CEO of 1-800-GOT-JUNK. What I've realized lately is a ton of people are coming to our website looking to start a business of their own, to buy a franchise. They're leaving disappointed because they see that we're effectively sold out in North America. What they don't realize is we have three other opportunities, three home service brands, Wow One Day Painting, You Move Me, and Shack Shine. We've leveraged our learning from early days of 1-800-GOT-JUNK into three other highly fragmented mom and pop home service spaces that are ripe for reinvention with customer service. What gets me most excited is each brand is growing more quickly than 1-800-GOT-JUNK did in the early days. And we're looking for awesome people to help us build these brands alongside of 1-800-GOT-JUNK. I believe that everyone should have the opportunity to start their own business if that's your wish and dream. If you think there might be a fit, I look forward to meeting you in the future. Here's how they're spreading the news about the Rubbish Boys' other related franchise businesses. Wow One Day Painting. Founded in 2011, Wow One Day Painting is an innovative painting franchise that delivers the quality painting customers expect in a timeline that is unexpected. With more than 35 locations across North America, the brand is a standout in the painting industry, proving that real painters do it in one day. The industry is house painting. What do they do? They paint houses, interior and exterior painting. Most jobs are completed in one day. Why do they do it? There's a lack of professionalism in the $50 billion painting industry, and wow, one day painting is changing that. They provide a professional service in an unexpected timeline. Speed plus quality, that equals wow. Investment for U.S. franchisees, $65,000 to $122,000. Next up, You Move Me. You Move Me was launched in early 2013, and overnight, the company had 24 franchises in operation all across North America. An unprecedented move for any franchised brand. Already, it has grown to over 36 locations and is revolutionizing the moving industry as the company that moves you, not just your boxes. As part of the local moving and packing service industry, what do they do? They're your partner on moving day. They help plan your move, find storage facilities, provide boxes, and even bring you coffee, because that's what a friend would do. Why do they do it? Simple. Moving is the third most stressful life experience, with nearly 45 million people moving in the U.S. each year, and with no household brand name in the local moving space, the opportunity to move people has never been greater. The investment for U.S. franchisees between $78,000 and $170,000. Next up, Shack Shine. The brand's newest company, Shack Shine, is a house detailing service that will complete your window washing, gutter cleaning, and power washing project in one detailed visit. Launched in 2016, Shack Shine is already in several locations in Canada and the U.S., with many more launching soon. Part of the house detailing industry, Shack Shine offers interior and exterior window washing, gutter cleaning, and power washing. They do it because in this highly fragmented, locally focused industry, there isn't one dominant brand. Shack Shine is changing that. The investment for U.S. franchisees between $50,000 and $97,000. So it may come as no surprise, success is around every corner in North America for this group of folks who first gathered under the name Rubbish Boys Disposal Service. Also no surprise that Brian Scudamore is continuing his efforts as a serial entrepreneur with his team running a Success Express. We hope you enjoyed this in-depth feature on the franchise family of 1-800-GOT-JUNK. Here's where we remind you, financing is available for most small business opportunities, including franchising and crowdfunding. For more information, contact us here, info at sbnfranchise.com. Coming up, time for a quick bit of wisdom from SBN's crowdfunding guru. Back in a minute with Mark Roderick, the crowdfunding lawyer, right here on SBN, the Small Business Network.
While we're talking about crowdfunding, it's a good time to remind you that Mark Roderick is SBN TV's crowdfunding legal consultant and advisor. If you would like to consult with Mark, just let us know by emailing us here, info at sbncrowd.com. We will arrange a conference with Mark for you. We think you'll learn pretty quickly that Mark is an expert on all types of crowdfunding. Think about portals as retail stores. Uh, think about a portal as DSW, except instead of selling shoes, the portal is selling business opportunities. Um, in the crowdfunding world today, we have a handful of stores. Um, and there are stores for different flavors of crowdfunding, the Title II stores, the Title III stores, and the Title IV stores. In Title III, and I don't want to go too much into detail here, in Title III, you can only sell those goods through a portal, through a regulated store, okay? In Title II and Title IV, those companies don't have to sell through portals. They can have their own website and sell, sell their own shoes on their own website. But if you're trying to sell shoes under Title III, you have to sell through a store. When you think about the retail world in the United States and all the stores that exist, there are stores for everything. Right? There are big box stores, there are boutique stores, there are shopping malls with all kinds of stores. Um, there are high-end stores, there are low-end stores. There's Bloomingdale's, there's Macy's, well, Macy's is having trouble, but um, there's Walmart, there's Kmart, there's every conceivable kind of retail store. We have an extremely well-developed and well-built-out retail network and when an entrepreneur in the retail business believes he or she sees an opportunity for a new niche market, there's a new store, okay? Crowdfunding is in the very beginning. Crowdfunding is, is like where the American automobile industry was in about 1912. And as one result of that, there aren't that many stores. We, we really do have the landscape of stores that, um, you know, again, when, when the American West was first being settled in 1840 and 1850, we had a few stores out on the prairie, general stores, okay? We didn't have malls. We didn't have anything close to malls. We didn't have segmentation. So, to finally get around to answering your question, there are going to be a lot more portals Portals are going to be, I believe, at least initially, segmented in all kinds of ways based on what kinds of shoes they sell, you know, what kind of products, industry types, um, ge geography, you know, we'll have stores that sell real estate in Manhattan, which we already do, and others that sell real estate in Florida and different kinds. So, I believe we can expect to see a lot more portals. I mean, a lot more. And then, of course, you'll get shakeout in the industry. But as the trickle of money that we're now seeing flowing into crowdfunding investments turns into a stream and a river and a flood, which I think, you know, we're talking about a trillion dollar market here, a multi-trillion dollar market. And when more and more of that money starts to flow in, you're going to see, uh, you know, portals exploding, I believe. And then we'll just, we'll have to see how the market will develop. Boy, I wish I knew, you know, just in 1912, I wish I knew who the winners were going to be in the automobile industry. But unfortunately for me, I don't. Back with more news in a minute. Stay tuned. You're watching SBN, the Small Business Network.
hope you enjoyed our program on different modes of transportation available for your online investment. As the boss likes to remind us, think of it as motivational speaking. Yes, he's a full-grown man when it comes to making a pun. Thanks for watching. Always a great pleasure to have you along. I'm Greg Meskel, and you're tuned in to SBN, the Small Business Network, TV news for today's entrepreneurs.